Hello hackers, welcome back to Shadow Paint Test. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how an attacker hack Wi-Fi passwords. And we'll also see how an attacker could capture WPA or WPA2 handshake by deauthenticating a connected device. So I'm using my own Wi-Fi on my home, home network. This demonstration is strictly for educational purpose. Do not try this on any network which, is, which you do not have a permission. So let's get started. First of all, we have to know uh, two things here. What is monitoring mode and what is managed mode? So if you see here, it come in iwconfig. Actually, uh, my router, my my wireless adapter is on monitoring mode. By uh, actually, let me change it. iwconfig stop mong stop wlan zero mode. Okay, so you can see by default on every PC, it could be the same name or different name. If you use this command, then you will see your Wi-Fi adapter name. Most of the PCs are compatible to change into monitoring mode to manage mode. If you are using a virtual machine on a Oracle virtual box or VMware, if you are using virtual Kali Linux machine, your PC adapter, Wi-Fi adapter is not compatible. So what you need to do is you need to buy an adapter, or let's say alpha Wi-Fi adapter. This is one of the best. You can see here, and now any one of this will work. You can buy from uh, Flipkart or Amazon or any website where you can, where you usually buy the electronics. You can buy that and once you connect, uh, you can link it to your virtual box. So once you have the all ready, you can see now my Wi-Fi is in manage mode. Manage mode is I can connect to the network. But when you change into monitoring mode, here it comes a tricky way. Like monitoring mode, it will see every Wi-Fi around you. Every Wi-Fi around you. So before we begin, we need to ensure our wireless adapter support, monitoring mode, and packet injection. So many built-in adapters cannot perform these functions reliably. So a dedicated adapter, like as I show you, alpha adapter, you can use that. It is well recommended. So now we need to change our Wi-Fi adapter into monitoring mode. So use the command air airmon tech ng start wlan zero. How do I know my LAN is the uh, my LAN name is my adapter name is wlan zero? You can use the command iw config, then you will see it here. But for now, it changes into monitoring mode. You can see mode is monitoring. So that's how you will get to know. So now your Wi-Fi adapter is listening to all around. So now let's see, we enable monitoring mode on a wireless adapter. Now we'll capture the wireless traffic. You can start the command. Airmon tag ng. Tag n, not ng, is a arrow dump, sorry. Arrow dump tag ng wlan zero. Now we change, right? We have to use the same adapter. So when you use this, you can see all available Wi-Fi around you. You can see it here. So this is my Wi-Fi, home Wi-Fi. And now we are going to copy this. We are going to copy the MAC address of your router along with the channel. I actually have it here. Wi-Fi text. Yes, no, not this. Let me check. Okay, let me copy, uh, get it, Wi-Fi, Mac. Okay, no need, since I have it here, I will use the same. So let it capture the Wi-Fi name again. You can see home Wi-Fi and I have my channel. So this is the one which we are attacking, this one, to, to capture the packets and we do the deauthentication. Okay, here, let me explain what is BSS ID. BSS ID is nothing but your MAC address of the router and ch is for channel at present our channel is 10 and then after we have ESSS ID which is nothing but your Wi-Fi name and encryption uh, my encryption is WPA2 okay at the bottom you can see the devices which are connected to uh, let's say this 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 my router is connected to one of the devices in it we'll also see it Okay, now let's focus to capture our own Wi-Fi network. Now we'll capture our Wi-Fi network. 
by replacing the BSS ID of router MAC address with the correct channel, then the packets will be saved into a file later for analysis. Let's follow this command air o jump tag ng air o dump tag ng and then yes this is my uh, router mac address as we seen earlier this is uh, my wi-fi home wi-fi mac address router mac address and the channel here now we are going to capture the traffic of that particular router this command filters traffic to only your specific network and logs all the capture packets to your file name to your file name capture.cap which i mentioned then I keep this window running so you can monitor the handshake later so now what we do is we'll open another one here let's say we already have one here okay cool now we have to deauthenticate the packets to the device which are connected i actually see one of the device is connected to my router what i do is i use the command air replay tag tag deauthenticate sorry a replay tag ng deauthenticate yes i can use the same you can see 62 uh, cc 62.88 yeah 38 uh, equals to 7a cc and again cc 62 and then how to include the channel here let me keep the channel my channel is on 10 okay and then yes this is the router mac address and the channel is 10 and this one i have to mention taxi okay taxi here sorry taxi here is for a current targeted device and then wlan once you enter this you will see the handshake it will capture here in this space wait for some time until we see the capture packet let's wait some time okay is now started sending the authentication packets it will increase the count which is designed to overwhelm the target devices and then it will force to disconnect and reconnect quickly let me check yes yeah, still my wi-fi is connected let's wait some more time yes now you can see wpa handshake is captured so which means our password is also captured now what we need to do is let me list out the files this is where i capture all of the profit include the deauthentication which we did against to the connected device so this is the device i have which are connected to my wi-fi and then it tries to disconnect this with with the deauthentication packet so after it disconnect and it will reconnect when it was reconnect then the password it will also like uh, whenever the router sends a dhcp request then the device also will will connect when it is connected and it will try to authenticate by that time our, our adapter it will capture all of the traffic and save it into this file now what we have to do is before that i want to show you something i already have a small uh, file which is a cat wi-fi text so here you can see this is my wi-fi password so make sure to crack any password you should have a dictionary unless you can use a secret checklist password or you can use your raq.txt file which contains a millions of passwords but for our demonstration purpose i do not want to waste my time to get the password so i use wi-fi text and i already input my password here and let's see if it can crack the password now so we use air crack tag ng so and uh, you can mention here like w is like you're mentioning your text file which has your password and then enter so immediately what happened it find the key what if i want to run a uh, here let me redirect it to rock you because rock you has a lot of passwords and you will see how it will see it is also find the password under rock you because i already have the password under rock you and it captured immediately here also so this is how you can crack passwords and now my password is golden 2025 so this command attempts to crack the captured handshake using the word list that we targeted if the password is weak and exits in the list it will display the network key otherwise it may not succeed which highlights the importance of using strong complex password and this is it for today remember this demonstration is purely for educational purpose this demonstration is purely for educational purpose to help you understand how attackers might try to exploit weaknesses always secure networks while with strong and modern security practices keep your password 
uh, that cannot be guessed, uh, guessed like you can use uh, capital letter, small letter uh, characters and then uh, the symbols and make it very strong. Thank you for watching this ethical Wi-Fi hacking demonstration. Remember, this is about understanding vulnerabilities so you can improve your security, not to exploit them. If you find this video informative, please like, subscribe and comment below with questions or what you like to see next. Stay ethical and stay secure. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.